So. Well, I hope you watched the first two, but if not, I'm, I'm just glad you're here. Okay, let's uh, take a run at chapter uh, Genesis 7. Uh, I, yep, 8 and 9. And, jeez, uh, let's see uh, how we do. If we do. <laughs> okay. Chapter 7, uh, King James Version. It's only one of many. Um, I like it. It's what I grew up reading. And uh, anyways, here goes. Uh, God's command to enter the ark. That's the, the title, not my title. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark for thee have i seen a righteous before me in this generation of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female and of the beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female of fowls also of the air by sevens the male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth for yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And every loving substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old. Dear Lord, children, there's hope for me. And, uh, <laughs> Anyways, of clean beasts and, and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth, there went in to and do unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after, oh, geez, who cares? And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood upon the earth were upon the earth. And in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. They and every beast after his kind, and of all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. After his kind, you could have killed the snakes off. Don't like snakes. Jeez. And every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. Now remember, a, uh, of the clean uh, seven uh, pairs of the uh, unclean two pairs. And the flood was 40 days upon the earth and the waters increased and bare up the ark and it was lifted up above the earth upon the water, I'll add lib that. And the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth and the ark went upon the face of the waters and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth and all the high hills that were under the the whole heaven were covered ergo you have seashells 
where you wouldn't expect, I think. It's my choice. 15 cubits upward did the waters prevail, cubit 18 inches roughly, I think. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of the fowl and of the cattle and of the beast and of every got some, every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man, all in whose nostrils the breath of life of all that was in the dry land died. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle, and the creeping things, and the fowls of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth. And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth in hundred and fifty days. And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged, uh, diminish. The fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained and this is chapter 8, children, I'm sorry I should have said that. And the waters returned from off the earth continually. And after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters were abated, and the ark diminished so. And the ark rested in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, upon the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the 10th month. In the 10th month, on the first day of the month, were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the windows of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. They didn't continue, but the raven took off, it seems. Also, he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot, and she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her in unto into him unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet other another seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. And he stayed yet other seven days and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him any more. And it came to pass in the six hundredth and first year in the month, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and behold, the face of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, was the earth dried. And God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark thou and thy wife and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all the flesh, both of fowl and of cattle, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, 
every creeping thing and every fowl and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds, plural, went forth out of the ark. And Noah built an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast, because there were seven bears, right? And of every clean fowl and offered them as burnt offerings on the altar. Well, and the Lord smelled a sweet savor and uh, and said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth a seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Noah was 600 years old, oh dear Lord God in heaven. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every morning thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have have I given you all things, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God made he man. And you, be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you, and with your seed after you, and with every living creature that is with you of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the field. Jeez, I'm shy of that stuff. And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over this, over the earth, that bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah went forth of the ark 
were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. And these are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth populated. Overspread, it says, it means populated. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. He was butt naked. Not not supposed to happen. Okay. Well, you're private. That's just that's fine. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his dead father and told his two brothers outside. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were uh, backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. Laws, rules, they were important back then. Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ, he brought a new covenant and gave it to us if we choose to believe that he Jesus is the son of the living God. <sighs> and Noah awoke from his wine uh, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brothers. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and in all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Thank you.